What's going on? It's Alexander here with the start of Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. A game I actually don't know anything about besides what it's uh, what it takes place in. I do. Well, I did actually look up uh, the marriage candidates, and I have, there's a few that I thought sounded interesting. I, I say interesting. Uh, that, that might not be the right word that I'm looking for. Is that we have like I literally bought all the DLC for this. Cause it all was just bundled when I bought it, so I was like, "Yeah, why not?" Like, few, like, few, uh, the one I'm looking for is like a few marriage candidates that are potential ones that, when I read, I was like, "Yeah, that might be the one we go with." There, were, I think it was like three. They all sounded fairly interesting, but the one I'm assuming will not be given. Oh, yeah, no, normal mode. Let's just not waste any more time. Just get right into this. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed the trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town just like he did. Yeah, there's a reason we're doing this one right now and not some of the others. I can't say yet because it's have to do with the thing I've been kind of hinting at for a while. Hmm. We'll come back to the face once we got everything else figured out. Okay. I like that voice. Let's see, brown. What? I honestly wasn't expecting a character creator. Like I knew that we could pick uh whether we want to play as a boy or a girl, but I was not expecting a character creator at all. Um, what have I been doing? Actually, hmm. Well, I was gonna go with one closer to uh, what my actual hair is right now, which is bald. But I think I like. I think I like the uh, the basic one there. Actually, no, deep brown is more correct now that I think about it. Skin. Can we go any paler? Um. This is more the eyes. I know it changes the whole face, but. Oh, let's go with Default Pioneer. That's what I like the most out of all of them. Yep, we'll go with that appearance. Motorcycle color. Color. I didn't look at any other ones. Burn it, burn it, burn it, but darn it. Yeah, I do have the... I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the music. I have it way down. 
As a just in case. But I turned it from 70 all the way down to, I want to say either 20 or 25. Yeah, this will be kind of like how we did the, or did story uh, the Friends of Mineral Town. Where we'll do one year and then take a break, and then one year and then take a break. I've just really been wanting to play uh, play on these games again for a while. Like basically, almost since I ended the last one. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all its own. Ah, uh, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You pick it up later once he's all done with it. Uh, by the way, might I have your name? And as we always do with games like this, we just go with the name. Your name's Alex. That sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Oh my goodness, your birthday. It's, uh, is it what it, I think it is? So I remember now, winter 19. Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah, uh, then that would make you his grandson. Yeah. Yes, of course. My apologies. I didn't know. I don't know how I could have forgotten. Uh, forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious! To think my dear old friend's grandson would find his way to Olive Town. Come on, then. I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look of your face, you'd like to ask me, are you sh quite sure this is grand grandfather's farm, sir? And to that, I would say it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of his farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely. What was it again? And as tradition holds... Just like we did with uh, for, uh, the Mineral Town. Yes, that was it. Chaos Farm. <laughs> Interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics uh, to start you off. I mean, I don't need to be taught, I know. Here you are, I'll pass these along to you. These are tools for developing the farm. And I'm sure you are well aware this farm has seen better days, but those uh, those tools will be the key to changing it all that. Tools, yeah. Basic there, the bag, items. Nobody can view your inventory, okay. You have trees and stones while clearing things out. You know, you special tools to deal with those. And using an axe while standing in front of the tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers, and sickles can cut wild grass. Those your tools to clear the land. There's a lot to take in, and it might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace, and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Ah, and do use the sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. In your bed will recover your stamina. Your game progress progress will automatically be saved the next morning. I'm going to take some notes on all this for future reference. If you do, you can view them in the notebook in your tent at any time. Your book or bookshelf in your house allows you to view tutorial tips you've seen thus far. So we don't even start with a house, huh? Following along so far, if you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you prefer. I'm good. Thank you. Excellent. Glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. First, I'd like, I'd like you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about Olive Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I, I'm the mayor. I'm its mayor, after all. With your quick word of mayoral advice, I suggest you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way. Until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
can use tools we're still in the tool bag. We need them. Take them out to use them. You not go? Oh yeah, because of the DLCs. Specification. Sell for new lands. Now go to Windswept Falls, a new special location. New events in town. You can now encounter new events in town. Something odd seems to be going on. Friend Mikey and Sydney and develop the town to a certain level to get down to the bottom of these new mysteries. You can now encounter new events at Earth Sprite Village. Something seems to be troubling the, uh, the sprites. Try speaking with them after developing the town to a certain level. Cool blaze. Oh yeah, that's this is all the, the costumes we got. Cause like I said, when I bought everything, I bought everything. Anything that was available got bought. So is it just? Everyone, we know what time it is. We're coming to the other port. That's that. I'm wondering if we have a. Oh yep. Okay, yep, right there. We can do it that way, and I'm assuming. We... Oh, we actually... Oh, okay. That shows how many we can go. Okay. I like that. We... Okay, I'm already like this game a lot. We haven't even really gotten into it. You actually can't. Okay, good. That's not in there. I won't be... Uh, take advantage of that in the mines. If you remember... Never mind. There it is. <laughs> Your field. If you sow seeds in your field, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor taught you a little more about raising crops. What tools do we have, though? I'm assuming we probably have uh like there's gonna be some type of logs we uh, trees we can't cut. I highly doubt they're gonna let us do them all in one go. Oh, so we got it okay. materials okay why am I even trying to tame we can't do that yet yeah crops you've never seen oh. there'll be at least a little bit of a uh... money coming our way. Where did that... I think that was a seed that popped out. Where'd that go? Alright, well, we're gonna do... Oh, we already got money. Never mind. Ship all those. Let's go ahead and head on into town. Start by going around to meet everybody. Shop sells livestock and pets. We tame all animals on your farm. A large variety of animals will be able to purchase there. Uh, Separations to 8 to 6. Closed Tuesdays. Huh. Pleasure to meet you. You're Alex, right? I'm Patricia. I'm on the animal shop. Keep that in mind now. I expect you'll need to come by before long. Hmm. Huh? It is a pleasure to meet you. Oh my, you inherited that farm? That's wonderful. I'm Ryan Bridget. I'm very ha familiar with handling animals, so if you need any help with that, please ask me. Yeah. You're a tour. You a tourist? Oh, you're the one who took over the farm. You're Alex, right? I'm Damon. I'm sure I'll see you around. I mean, props on the jacket style, at the very least. Even if he does look like you might be a little bit stuck up.
General store sells seeds, seedlings, and various other products. Their lineup changes each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. House, house operation, 8 to 6, close Tuesdays. Is everything close Tuesdays? Ah. So howdy, you're Alex, right? I'm Angela. Angela. My family runs a general store. Nice to meet you. If you're used to the farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various uh, skills along the way. When the skills level up, you'll gain first traits and learn new craft. Okay. Anybody else back here? Uh. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy, and you are... Oh, you're Alex. You're the one who's going to be living on the farm. May I come to play sometime? Might I play sometime? Hey. Hey, are you looking for anything in particular? Oh, so you're Alex. I heard from you. I've heard about you from the mayor. I'm Jack, your friendly neighborhood general of general store generalities. Okay, that flop. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. Okay, there's... Uh, well, I guess that... Never mind. I was going to say, there's five chairs here, but nah, I guess that really wouldn't count, would it? For me being five people. It's yes or no. This is an okay. There's just no, like, don't go there like there was in other games. Hello. Hello, we haven't met before, have we? Oh, so your name is Alex? I'm Raul. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yo. You come here you come to sight you come here to sightsee, I can guide you around if you want. Oh, you're the one who came on that motorcycle. Alex, right? Well, Emilio, don't uh, don't you go forgetting it now, okay? Well, now you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before, am I right? Don't you worry, this is a good opportunity as any to learn. I hope uh, I'd be happy to teach you if you'd like to try. Here, for stars, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my house, and I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather it be put to good use. I can definitely read. <laughs> you can cast out your fishing rod as long as you're facing a body of water. Once you got a fish in the line, reel it in and begin the battle with your catch. Rule fishing are fishing are simple. The rules of fishing are simple. If there's a body of water, you can probably cast your line into it. You can face the water, throw out your line, and the moment you nap something on the hook, start reeling it in. Gained enough fishing experience, I bet you'll be able to catch the real. Uh, be able to catch. Let me try that one more time. I bet you'll be able to reel in the big ones, just like me and more Marcus can. And that's all there is to it. Now get out there and enjoy the fish. Good to meet you. Could you be the new owner of that farm? You're Alex, right? So at that point, she didn't even notice. She's just like, here you go. Here's a fishing rod. <laughs> it's Manuel. Manuela. Uh, and don't you forget it. Well, I just, just walk, walk in like, oh, you're new? Ah, here's a fishing rod. <laughs> Talk to you later. That's friendly right there. I haven't seen you around before. Ah, uh, your name's Alex, is it? I'm... Is it, would it just be George? Since there's no, there's no E, I would be Gorge. Captain of the Ferry. Good to meet you, lad. I kind of want to call him Gorge. Ah, uh, the sun's all warm. Hey. You're looking for uh, for the lowdown on Olive Town, and you've come to the right gal. Wait, your Alex, Mayor Victor told me about you. I'm Laura, the town's tour guide. No question is a dumb question, as far as I'm concerned. So fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. I wouldn't bet on that no question's a dumb question. You're not terribly hungry, but you know, like meal after work, stop by Sally's Cafe, take a break every once in a while, as of Operation 86, close Tuesdays. Seems like everything's close Tuesdays, which I'm very okay with. Ahoy! You're Alex, right? I've heard about you. Have you heard about me? Uh, you haven't? I'm Jason. Though I may look the part of a dashing Corsair, I'm actually the owner of the Gold's Rest Hotel. Why, hello, I am called La Lavette. I travel the world in search of fine cuisine, writing magazine articles, and my discoveries. Do let me know if, if you happen upon any Olive Town delicacies. Hi there. Hello, Alex, I'm Sally, and I run the cafe. Have some coffee, I make a mean cup of joe if I do say so myself. More of a tea person, actually. <laughs> oh. 
And that's time for this video. So thank you all for watching, and we'll continue going around meeting everybody in the next one. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.